Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Vicious RV down here at Ember's RV headquarters today, taking a look at all the new things that they have coming out for the 2023 season. Now, of course, you know, the Overland series that you've seen over the past year-ish or so, man, it feels like it's been longer than that, but it's only been about a year since I was here. Uh, the last time kind of showcasing when they first uh, debuted. I'm gonna go over some of the uh, interesting, new, exciting updates on these, but I've got a far more exciting announcement to make in this video. Along with all the awesome Overland stuff that you've already come to expect, you're going to see something new, something exciting, and something very different from Ember. Uh, they are coming out with their touring series as opposed to the Overland series. So Ember's been listening. Uh, folks have been saying, look, you know, we want tandem axles, we want private bedrooms, we want bigger floor plans. Um, not everybody needs something built for like off-road Overland, Overland use. use. So they're tweaking the recipe a little bit. They're coming out with basically a completely new division of their products, and we're gonna fly through all those today. And I wanna kinda of kick things off with something you're a little familiar with so we can sort of work our way into what's new. And we're gonna kick things off here with the 191 MSL, which is still unlike almost anything else out there in the marketplace. Uh, so the uh, the new LCI quick drop stabilizer jacks are finally making landfall. You're finding those all over the place. Of course, the Goodyear Wranglers with the TPMS, that uh, Kurt trailing arm independent suspension system, all making a comeback for another year. Everything that you've known on Ember is all here and it's going to stay here. And does anybody else see a face in that thing right there? Anyway, I call that Steve the Stovetop. Now, this model is very cool because it has a uh, convertible bunk system, but this year's standard on all of the Overlands, you'll see that Truma Aventa air conditioner. If you're not familiar with that, that is actually a major, major update because it, it's actually not a soft stop, start air, but it sort of operates like one. It ramps its power up slowly and it's a lower power draw air conditioner. Also, if you're seriously off grid for a long time, it has a uh, just a pure dehumidifier mode, which doesn't actually engage the compressor unit, but it will make it feel so, so much cooler in there. Now the rock and the roll making another turn uh, return for this year. Uh, we're looking at the, uh, the rock here with the rear outside kitchen. There's also the roll, which is the rear outside locker. Both have the ability to be outfitted with that uh, Thule roof uh, tent right there. Um, the uh, the roll is basically just rear cargo, but it does still have that 12 volt powered kind of uh, refrigerator, freezer, cooler, chest kind of thing that you can put on this. And even these have some level of solar, which is fantastic. And on a little RV like this, uh, you, sh you should be able to you know, pretty much enjoy the thing all you want, although that air conditioner won't kick over. Now, this is exciting. This is very, very cool. I actually just had a full video on this come out recently as well, the 221 MSL. People said, I, I, we like embers, but we want them with four wheels. So they made that happen. Then uh, people said, I, I really like embers, but I really uh, you know, wish the bunks could go away. Well, they made that happen. And now they've combined those two things. So we've got something that's a little more traditionally sized than the RV marketplace but with a, a, a adjustable cargo bunk feature that you just literally cannot be found anywhere else. Now, due to that suspension package, that does have to be a sofa in the slide. However, you will see as we get up into these new touring editions, some dinettes will start to become available. And again, there's Mr. Steve, the stovetop, guiding us through things. There's also some neat things they've done here where every single outlet in every single Overland model is wired to uh, at least a factory standard 1,000-watt inverter, and the max solar that we're looking at has a 3,000 watt inverter. And there's another good look at that rooftop tent. By the way, Max Solar, all solar panels on these now, 200 watts instead of 190 like we saw before. But this is what I wanted you to really get to see here. The all new touring editions, they have four launch floor plans. We're gonna look at every one of them. They still look like an ember. They still read like an ember. They changed the front profile and the color package a little bit. And by not cutting that nose back, they created something the Overland series was lacking, a huge front storage compartment. They're still enclosed. They're still forced air heated. They're still zero to 100 degree rated, tested and proven. But they've swapped from the trailing arm off-road suspension to a torsion axle and suspension, which is very good for like highway use. And that's the intention of these. And this is awesome. This is an exclusive thing right there. It looks like a taillight. It is literally throwing radar off the back of your RV and the vertical orange uh, accent lights on the nose of the RV, they're literally telling you, it's like blind spot assist on the side mirrors of your car. It is telling you if there's somebody in your blind spot, if it's okay to change lanes, you can see that from the rear view mirror of your vehicle 
I always recommend getting extension mirrors, but sometimes, you know, it, it, another set of eyes is handy. Now we're still looking at 60 by 80 True Queen beds. We, they are taller ceilings even. But did you notice that is a carpetless floor flush slide? So if you want a true theater seat, you want a dinette, you can do those things in any floor plan now. But did you notice that was like a little bit bigger three-seater party sofa, all three sections reclined. As always, Ember doing Ember things, and this is where we finally start bumping into ovens that people have been wanting for a while. I'm very, very excited to see what people think about these things. Again, they were like six foot 10, six foot 11, something like that from floor to ceiling panel. And unlike the Overland series, it has a far more consistent interior height because it's actually vaulted from side to side on the outside, a little bit more conventional roof construction on this one. But that was necessary because when we start getting into bigger models like this one, we are finally getting embers with private bedrooms. I saw somebody leaving comments on my channel just last night going, why? Why do they always have open beds? Well, that's going to go away. Now, this is interesting. The, the touring conditions are actually, their, their base solar package is technically ahead of Overland right now, but that will change. The touring edition models have dual 200 watt panels and a 2000 watt inverter standard. And I do believe that you will see the Overland models enjoy that update as well. That's a very cool, very exciting thing. You might spy that little cargo door back there. This is one of those, anytime that they're gonna put bunks on the back wall, Ember's making sure that they put that cargo door in the back. And what's crazy about this one is these touring editions, that what they were looking for is something that had a more conventional floor plan, but still with Ember build, Ember features, Ember fit uh, and finish and feel. Like notice how the countertop extension was uh, countertop level. That's the kind of weird stuff that a lot of brands just don't do. You've still got the Stargazer skylight up top instead of dead in the nose of this thing. Um, they're doing all the things that they've always done, but they're doing it in a more conventional package. And in some ways, it all, I almost wonder if they went too far. It, it's like they're still, they're still very unconventional overall. Now, uh, if you're not looking for bunks and a super slide, that's where this one comes in. This is a very tried and true floor plan, but notice how they're still doing the VersaCoupler on every one of these in case you did want to swap out that, uh, you know, hitch. Or I don't think you'll be swapping out the, the, the coupler mechanism on these touring emissions. I think depending on the vehicle you have, you could actually adjust the coupler height directly on the RV, which can help for ride and handling, which is very, very cool. Now, did you notice that above that big window, they didn't carry the, the cabinet all the way over? I would really, really like your feedback. And what you're seeing here, you have the option on these, you wanna hide a bed, you want a theater seat, you want table and chairs, you want a dinette. Again, you can do any of that stuff that you want to right here. And this 26 RB has itself a massive, massive rear bathroom if you're looking for that big, big space back there. Now, something I think they did that's very cool, they don't actually have door handles on those cabinet doors. Did you notice how the door actually was it overhung a little bit over the cabinet itself? You can grab it from the top, grab it from the bottom, whatever works for you. But this is another thing that, when they told me on paper what they were doing, I'm like, this is dumb. Nobody's gonna want that. And by the way, did you notice how the touring additions are still keeping with those Euro windows and the enclosing docking center? All the stuff you expect out of Ember is there. They just change the suspension, which allows them to change the slide out. And these again have that little bit different roof structure to them. Obviously fully walkable, I've climbed all over those things. But the one that we're looking at here has a private front bedroom with a Murphy bed. Now it's not forced. And that's another really cool thing on these touring editions. You can get them without a, uh, with a fixed bed, with a true queen 60 by 80 bed all day, every day, no problem. You can also get them with the optional Murphy bed that will just simply add an M into the model number. So this is the 28 BH or 28 MBH. You could get the 23 uh, BH there or the 24 BH, the 24 MBH. Like you get the idea. Even that little couples model we saw in the beginning. Like when I looked at this, and I, and I first walked in, I was like, why do you have a, a private Murphy? But then I realized with that Lagoon style table, you could create a, a literal like private working office space, especially with that TV directly across from it. And they will start to use those um, swing out Lagoon style tables quite a bit on their Overland series as well, instead of those like tables that just mount on the face of it. But at the same time, you can just use it like a 60 by 80 queen bed. Even the Murphy option, you don't have to use like a Murphy bed. And you can get any of the fixed beds again with a Murphy bed. So I'd be really curious to know, 
What do you think about that? Having a private Murphy function? Is that something that makes sense? Is it crazy? Is it smart? Is it stupid? You're like, how do you feel about it? I'm very, very curious. And like I said, once again, some awesome, awesome headroom. I'm a little bit over six foot, by the way, just for a, uh, a quick barometer reference right there. So if you're big and tall, you are really going to enjoy the shower space that you're getting out of these. Very exciting stuff. So as always, let us know what you think here. Uh, do you like the direction they're going, the split in the product, the, uh, the two different ways, you know, one kind of for the folks who want to get off the grid and maybe one who just wants to be very comfortable traveling down life's roads here. We got the Overland Series, the Touring Series. Makes a lot of sense to me. Um, leave us some feedback. What do you think, good, bad, ugly, or otherwise? Is there any last minute, you know, changes, updates, tweaks, maneuvers, they need to do anything like that? And as always, remember, this was just a quick flyby. I will do my best to get you uh, a whole bunch of, you know, in-depth tours later this season. Um, and is there, you know, I, I can't always necessarily get to everything i have gotten to every ember so far but as they branch out i might have difficulty help me prioritize what is like the number one uh new model that you'd like me to get recorded and i'll see if i can't prioritize that one for you and of course until next time take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone